Welcome to Crafted Decor. Uh, today we are lucky enough to have with us uh, Lisa from Maison Berger. She's going to talk uh, about a lot of the Maison Berger products for us today. Oh, okay, so then I'm on. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. It's great to be here. I'm happy to be here at one of our largest Maison Berger distributors or dealers in North America. So if you can't find it at Crafted Decor, you probably can't find it anywhere. Um, so Lisa, let's show people how it works because it really hasn't changed in 120 something years, has it? No, it hasn't. You're absolutely right. And that's a great idea. So this is what we call a lamp. There's no light bulb, but it, it in, indeed is a lamp, the lamp Berger. So your lamp will come in a box um, in something like this. You've got your top. You've got your cap, you've got your burner, okay? And this burner, I'm not sure if you know, uh, this is the, the part that Maurice actually patented. patented. So there's six international patents on it. And what we'll do is, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a moment, but let's start at the beginning. So each of your gift sets or lamps will come with a funnel. And this is your alcohol-based fragrance or fuel. So what you want to do is you want to fill that up half full. Half to two thirds full. Yeah, okay. it has to have airspace in the bottle to work. So Sometimes when people right. fill it too high, um, it, they can't keep it hot, and that's the reason why, because they filled the lamp too high. That's right. So you want to make sure that you're half to two thirds full. And then what you do is you take your burner or your wick, and you want to immerse it in there. Now that's going to take about 20 minutes in order for that to absorb into the wick. Yeah. So for now, we're going to cap that and just leave that to the side. But like a good cooking show, we yeah. got one ready we to have go. We have been soaking in the fuel. So normally this is how you're lighting your lamp because you try to always make sure you have fuel in it. When you finish the fuel, you fill it again so that when you want to use it, it's always wet and saturated and you're ready to go. So at home, you're, you're literally, it's only when it's new or you've let the wick get really dry that you have to wait that 20 minutes. That's right. So she's going to show us. So first of all, before we even light it, I guess we can light it and then we mm -hmm. can uh, talk a little bit about why you'd want to use a Lamberge. Okay, so this has been soaking for about 20 minutes. So what you do is you just take your lighter and now we're just going to let that flame for two and a half minutes. So don't be alarmed by the size of the flame. That's totally normal, normal. to happen. So that's going to burn uh, for about two and a half minutes and then we're going to blow it out. But what's happening during that two and a half minutes is the stone portion of your burner is coming up to temperature. So it's four, it comes up to 500 degrees on the outside and that's the part that actually draws the molecules down that cause germs and odor and it kills them. It eliminates them. So you're not just, you know, you're, you're actually getting rid of those um, and purifying the air in your home. So the inside portion or the second zone heats up to about 200 degrees and that's the portion that allows fragrance to be diffused. So think of it like... See, I'm learning new things too. <laughs> <laughs> so think about it like drawing down, killing the germs or the molecules that cause germs and odors and then the inner portion is actually um, diffusing the fragrance. Okay, so say it's been two and a half minutes. Do you see the flame has gotten a lot less volatile than it did when you first lit it? Absolutely. That's, that's a visual indication that it's ready. That's right. Too. Absolutely. You don't have to count with the timer necessarily. But. So there's one extra step this time because you actually have to pull your mask down in order to <laughs> blow it out. <laughs> COVID times. Which again is a, you know, a perfect reason why Lamp Berger is such a, a great thing to have in your home now. Yes. Is because it is el eliminating germs. Yes. Um, so go ahead, Sandra. So that's the decorative cap that we put on um, while it's running. Uh, you can run it for half an hour. You can run it for half a day, all day. It's completely up to you. Um, I like to, if I'm home, and especially if my kids are home because they're in school. So when they come home, I like to let my like my lamp and let it run through me. <laughs> I have a dog too, so I like to fragrance that's my right, home. Right. And we're spending a lot of time at home. So to me, sure. to have something that's fragrancing and purifying the air, it makes you know perfect sense to, Absolutely. to run it. And you know, in most homes, um, you can actually get rid of the odors or the germs within 30 minutes, yeah. right? And then yeah. the fragrance will continue on for about four times that long. But as you said, if you're at home, you want fragrance longer, you yeah. can let it run longer. Yeah. But optimally, 
it'll do the job in 30 minutes. Yes, like if I, last a uh, couple days ago, I cooked fish. I'm trying right. to eat more healthy, and so yes, I, sure. I'm cooking more fish, so the lamp is on in the kitchen for that half hour after we uh, clean the kitchen to just get rid of the odors in the kitchen. And, and then I tend to move it from room to room after that. You know, and that's a, a perfect example is when you're cooking fish. Like if you're making something like apple pie, that's a beautiful <laughs> scent to have in your home. Yeah. But if you cook fish or you've cooked onions or, you know, you have pets or dogs or tobacco um, or, you know, sports equipment or a musty smell in your basement, mm -hmm. those are all reasons that you would use your lamp brochet because it will eliminate those odors. Okay. So that kind of gives you an idea of how to operate your lamp. But what you want to make sure you do is after the 30 minutes or yep. how long you elect to run it for, this is like your on off switch. If you don't put this on, your lamp will continue to burn until there's no fuel left. So um, what you want to do and what we recommend, even, you know, if you've just got a, if you've just started using Lamp Berger, is even set your watch or your phone for 30 minutes and that'll remind you to cap it. Once you cap it, there's no oxygen getting to it. So now it's off. So that's off until the next time your son or daughter brings their hockey gear home or, you know, you're wanting to purify the air in your home.